but generally a workflow like uh, a flow to configure a integration is okay let's say i have one integration okay i have service now i have service now here okay and i have uh, jira here jira service now both are different different platforms okay now what is my requirement is if i want to create a group in service now Create the same group in Jira. Same name, same group, same name. That's it. Simple example, very simple. Addition of users and all, like next level. But if I create a group in service, now the same group should be created in Jira. That's what my requirement. Everyone understood the requirement? Yes? Yes. So for this one, what I want is I need the end point. First, I need, okay the end point of target what is the target here jira so jira end point for creating group is needed so the jira administrator will give that with account and all credentials authentication everything once i got all the thing then first what i will do is i will create first two, one thing called rest message first important thing okay rest message m e s s a g Okay, so in the rest messages, what all the things I will do is like this. I already have the structure. Okay, maybe I can run it also, maybe, but I need to just change some values because, okay, uh, yes, there is mine, SKFX, there is my Jira. This is SKFX, okay. So, rest message. So, this is the endpoint. So, once I have the endpoint, I, conf I configure like this. For creating a group, this is the endpoint that Jira administrator will give you. First thing. Second thing. Okay. To connect to this endpoint, I need an account in Jira. Okay. That Jira administrator also will give you one account. Okay. So, what are the things the Jira administrator will give to us is first thing is endpoint. Okay. And the second thing is account means authentication. Okay. Login details. Sometimes it is not only account. Okay. Sometimes it is like token also right and third thing is headers right headers i will show you so i got the endpoint okay and i need to get the authentication so what authentication is to have the jira access okay how you connect jira via api is means via web services this is user id okay this is this is what i was referring in one of the videos yesterday i posted it okay this is user id and password is the token you need to go to security okay sorry you need to go from here right so every time it will be generating the one no, no, one time only i'm just showing it okay and you need to go to security here and then api tokens okay and you need to say create here i already have it just create it it gives you a simple box and then you need to generate it before you generate it you need to copy it okay if you copy it, it gives you a big code. Okay, this one. It will give you. You need to immediately copy and then save it. Okay, this is the password. So, it's a token code. Okay. So, to connect this one, you need these two. Right. So, endpoint, you got it. Authentication, you got it. Headers, also, you got it. So, after you got all of them in service now, I'm saying this is in service now. Right. So first you do what is you just create a rest message so you go here and then create a rest message here okay the rest message will have the endpoint and the credentials the so credentials this jira 222 is here no so it will be like this it will be a nothing okay then you say look up and then you say new and it says jira okay maybe account so what is an id we need to give id is this one Where is it? Here. Your ID and password. No? Okay. So this is ID, right? So you need to give that ID here. And password is the token. Very carefully copy paste it. So they will not give basic. Only they have uh, Jira okay. seven. This is this is how the Jira basic will work, sir. They don't okay. give you this. Okay. So now once I have that account, now so I created an account and then I mapped that account. Endpoint is there. Okay. Account is there. Okay. HTTP request something 
okay they will give you and next we do what is we create method okay the method is to create a record now so here post rest get post put patch delete post is for create okay creating it so create it give the same endpoint inherit from parents the same account and then here they will give you these two headers also you need to create these two headers these are very important okay it tells us how the data is flowing okay so rest message is created rest method is created correct yes everyone Yes, everyone clear? Yes. So, in the rest yes. message, yes. I will just say test. Okay. So, I got 400 saying, okay, it is reached, but you didn't send any any data. Okay, this is good. Okay. I didn't get 401 error. 401 error is, more, is for failure, authentication failure. Okay, good. Now, second thing is what? What I need? When a group is created here, okay, the same group is to be created in Jira also. So, in service now, if something happens in the record level, the same thing needs to be replicated in. Okay, so if something happens in the record, some other job needs to be run. What concept we use it? Business tool. Business. business tool. Okay. So in the business tool, I'll create a simple business tool here. Right. This is not our topic, ma. We are not discussing integration. I'm just giving a heads up. Okay. Our topic is flow designer. Right. So here. On group table, okay, I will create a business tool. The business tool is to trigger the endpoint, okay, which is there in the rest messages. Okay, so Jira group creation, it's true. I think this one, okay. Here, how to trigger a rest message is via script, okay. So when I'm running this business tool, okay, when it is insertion and async business tool, preferable because it's connecting to different platform it takes little time and then here jira group admin this is the rest message where is my rest message okay yeah this is the rest message right so rest message and rest method rest method is create group jira correct so this method this one so I am initiating the REST message and REST method from script and this is an API. Okay, where GR equal to new glide record of incident table, where something equal to new service now, web service, REST message V2. If it is SOAP message, new SN, WS, SOAP message V2. This is an API to trigger the REST message, okay, of REST message name, REST method name and then execute it. Okay, it will execute it. It's same like how you did it test there. Okay, but when you are executing it, you need to pass the body now. Okay, what value you need it? Okay, so to create a group in Jira, right? Something like this. I need the Jira, right? I need the group name, correct? Let me go here. Yeah, okay. So I need to create a Jira means I need a group now. Something like this, right? It will ask a group. So I'm creating a group here, okay? Say uh, B29, okay? FT group for students. So this is the group name. It needed an input, no? So what is this input from service now? Our group name, right? I will create a group here. Same group, I will create it here, okay? So B29, FT students, right? So what is the field name here? This name. So the same value I need to rip, I need to send it now. So for this, okay, I'm passing this one body. In Jira, the field name is name only. The backend name of group field is name, and you are sending current get value of the name. This is your service no group table name. That you are sending in body, and then executing it. So now you see the results. Okay, I'm creating a group. Okay, B29 FT students. So let's see if the group is already there or not. Okay, first. It is not, it's okay. Is it there? No. Is it there, man? No, right? This group is there in Jira? No, okay. Now I am creating it. So when I create a group here, the business rule will run. The rest message, the rest method will trigger. When the rest method is triggering via business rule, it sends this name 
current dot get value like this is the value it will send to the name of jira creation okay and then this one will hit so here this this one will be created is that created there i created in this yes. now okay the service now group came here and then created jira automatically this is an integration general integration concept if we have so we saved we saved that it came here also yes i think business tool ran and <coughs> yeah. will uh, trigger the rest message and rest method in the rest method we are passing uh, okay we are passing the endpoint and authentication and all and then we are executing the endpoint and then we are passing the name here whatever the group name that you are creating here okay that same group name you are passing there also so now i will create one more so okay. one doubt so once the connection is done we can pass a number of data so you can pass the data body can be different you can pass all the different values also the end point the other end point oh. should take it the jira end point should take that values okay. okay so now i created one more now now let's see whether it came here or not okay it will come right so what group name i given new right new ft group so now if i create 100 groups in service now the 100 groups will create in jira also so now this is a group maybe tomorrow it's incident if i create an incident in service now the same incident will replicate in jira if i update an incident in service now the same incident should be updated in jira okay so like that we can play 